There was a delightful confrontation on Fox News yesterday between Fox News anchor Harris Faulkner and Democratic but very right leaning Senator Joe Manchin. Now, the, the thing going on with Joe Manchin is absolutely beautiful. Joe Manchin is a guy that is not a particular friend to the Democratic Party on many important issues. But every once in a while, Joe Manchin is a Democrat and he will vote with the Democratic majority. And in this particular case, Joe Manchin announced that he's supporting the Inflation Reduction Act. The Inflation Reduction Act does a whole bunch of different things. It doesn't change the level of taxation uh, on income tax for Americans. But right wingers have been flipping out, number one, because they claim, oh, it's going to increase taxes on everybody. And number two, they're flipping out on Joe Manchin because they started to think, sorry, I punched my mic. They started to think Manchin is a friend of Republicans and to some degree he is. But it's not always the case. And all of a sudden they are hammering Joe Manchin. This interview was absolutely hilarious. Harris Faulkner increasingly incensed with Joe Manchin. Let's look at some of the moments from this uh, interview. We got to know the bottom line on taxes. Let I me mean, tell you the bottom line on that, Harris. You want to know the bottom line? The Joint Committee on Taxation? That opinion was only written by my friends on the Republican side. It was not done by the whole Joint Committee. So that is unfair, too. So let's be accurate what we're doing here. The bottom line is how in the world can you be raising taxes when all we're saying is the wealthiest co uh, corporations in America 55 of them pay zero to help this great country of ours to defend ourselves. Well, how does this change that? Because that, that's that's minimum, part of the corporate 15%. structuring. It's right? a minimum of 15 percent. The tax rate was at 35 percent before 2017. Right. Then it went to 21 percent. Mm -hmm. That was a tremendous savings. But that's not good enough, I guess. All we're saying is at 15 percent minimum, everyone in West Virginia I know and most people around the country pay a 21 percent corporate or greater. So why can't the greatest billion dollars of, of revenue a year, are, why can't they pay at least 15 percent for this great country? Are you now understand they're talking about a 15 percent minimum tax on corporations, but Republicans are pretending that this is an increase to personal income taxes. It's not trying to also say because this is this is the part that counts. I mean, people look at their corporations and they know they've got great tax accountants. Heck, they have complete departments trying to come up with ways to to find loopholes and and to keep We're and to hire that. people as well. I mean, let, let's not forget that, too. Um, but four hundred thousand dollars was supposed to be the cutoff. And I'm reading and I am reading, Senator. That who's it's paying, below who's that paying now. any taxes? Who's paying any taxes that doesn't have a corporation that has revenue of over a billion dollars a year. Not one person, not one person, Harris, you're assuming because they'll pass that on. The companies were paying zero. No, no, no. I'm asking a different question than you're answering. I'm saying Americans, $400,000 and below now, are going to be taxed. Their That's taxes wrong. are going to go wrong. up. That's a nope. lie. That is a pure, outright lie. So now, good. I'm not a fan of Mansion. You guys know, I don't see these people as black and white. I don't get shocked all of a sudden when Manchin says something reasonable or then all of a sudden he's voting with Republicans that we know who he is. He's a very right leaning Democrat, but here he's doing a very good job. Taxes are not going to go up. Not at all. And you know one thing? How about the people that are going to be saving as far as on their Medicare? Two hundred eighty eight billion dollars who are paying okay. higher prices than they should. Aren't they? They didn't even assume that right. in the revaluation. They didn't talk about any of that. How so, about if gasoline prices go down because we're producing more oil to make more well, gasoline? Well, those are going to fluctuate. OK, so Harris Faulkner starts getting agitated to different degrees. And then eventually uh, Manchin just has to tell her that she's telling lies. I'm saying Americans, four hundred thousand dollars and below now are going to be taxed. Their that's taxes wrong. are going to go wrong. up. That's a lie. That is a pure outright lie. So their taxes are not going to go up. Not at all. And you know one thing? How about the people that are going to be saving as far as on their Medicare? Too? Yeah. So repeating that it is just a flat out a lie. Uh, then she pulls up a uh, segment of Manchin speaking to Chuck Todd and then tries to hammer him on that. And she increasingly desperate during this conversation. I haven't. That wasn't dodgeball. 
That's not a dodgeball. That, I'm not getting involved in the political. This is not a political piece of legislation. This is an American legislation. We need energy. We need to pay down debt. We need to accelerate our, our permitting process so we can build things and yeah, meet the, the challenges. Yeah, but the elections are going to need some help. The You've got a so president who's, I am not who's going to make a statement approval on that. rating is like as low as Congress's. Well, I mean, no offense, but you right? know that are when you, you get into the 30s, no one's that popular. Harris, and that's are you president. scared we're going to do something good to help our country? I'm, and of someone course might not. Take My father credit served. For it? Are you kidding? Service well, is in the Bible. Like you are. That's what we do. We her father served and service is in the Bible. That's her reaction when Manchin says, Harris, you sound mad. We're going to do something good. And she goes, my father served and it's in the Bible. But how is that even an answer? I know how it's an answer because there's a contingent and a lot of them watch Fox News where they believe if you are a veteran, then of course you n always necessarily want everything that's best for the country. There's no guarantee of that. And if you're a Christian, you always necessarily want everything that's best for the country. But there's no guarantee of that either. Serve our fellow man and woman. Of that's course. exactly what I'm doing. Don't, 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 exactly don't make this Harris. personal because it's not. I'm simply asking that you've got a president who can't really help anybody on the campaign trail with the numbers he's rocking right now. Well, and so to have you, you say this. something like that, it doesn't sound supportive of your own party. And I'm asking why. Let me just why. say this. I'm working with what I have here in the majority party that we have is a Democratic Party. I'm working with a president who's accepted the proposal I've put forward and negotiated, which is a balanced energy policy. That's wonderful for our country. I know people who don't like the president, don't like Democrats, might be upset. This is not about whether you like right. the president or whether you like Democrats. All Do right. you like So as you can see, Harris Faulkner is just desperate to attack whatever and whoever she can. But the truth is, on this particular bill, Manchin is correct. The bill's been scored. It looks like it will reduce inflation. This is what the Republicans claim to want to do, and they just can't accept that. They just can't accept that. Here's just one more quick clip. That's a lie. That is a pure outright lie. So their taxes are not going to go up? Not at all. And you know one thing? How about the people that are going to be- And you know what? We already played this clip, so we're going to skip it. All right. So bottom line, depending on your perspective, there are people who now are angry with Joe Manchin. And then there are people who now are thrilled with Joe Manchin. The reality is that there's sort of like a grab your popcorn element to this of wow, what who's going to flip out on Manchin next? And now it's Fox anchor Harris Faulkner who's very triggered. I don't care about that so much as this is another reminder. Sometimes the, these are just people. They're not all good. They're not all bad. Manchin is a guy that is way to my right. But every once in a while, and it could be for self-centered reasons we don't yet fully understand. I mean, it's, it sounds like there's going to be some more domestic oil production. Manchin likes that. Yeah, we could. We, we, it's potentially just from his selfishness and what's in it for me attitude that he's supporting this bill. But he's supporting a bill that's going to do some good things, and it's going to. It's believed that it will lower inflation. And now Republicans are just absolutely flipping out on him. Let's take a more measured uh, approach. This is a guy who is to the right of me and many in, in the audience, but he's doing the right thing now. And that's something we can all be happy about.